Alrighty, ladies and gentlemen, the time has finally come. Today, we'll be starting a let's play of one of the best zombie games of all time, Dead Rising. The very first Dead Rising. And the first thing we're going to do here is we're actually going to sit here for a little bit. Because there is a secret cutscene that plays when you idle in the main menu for about two minutes. And I'm just going to talk a little bit about what I'm going to be doing through the through this uh, LP. First off, I'm going to be playing the game several times. Probably two and a half times. Because it is possible to get everything in one game, but it is ridiculously fucking hard to do. Um, and also, I can't show off every ending in one solitary playthrough. At least not without a lot of redoing shit and manipulating saves and all that. And I only get one save file in this whole game. So, yeah, I'm gonna be playing through this game multiple times. I will not do infinite mode yet. I'll show off how to do it at the end of the playthrough, or end of the LP, rather, but if I do that, I'm gonna stream that shit. So. And unfortunately, this does take a while, actually, so. If it takes longer than another minute or so, I'm just gonna edit. I do wish I could speed this up. Now, I actually found this entirely by accident, because I knew this scene existed. I just ran over a big frog. No, you didn't, Mommy. Frogs don't sound like that. Mommy, I'm bored. I want to open my eyes. Please, just be a good girl and keep your eyes closed like I told you. Okay, sweetie?
So, yep, they're dead. So, yeah, I was just playing around in the menus, wondering how far the zombies would go if I just idled. And, uh, in case you can't tell, I'm playing this on the original Xbox 360. I'm not playing this in the on PS4, Xbox One, in 1080p with 60 frames per second. And I will say, this game does look nice at 60 frames per second. But, regardless. So, now for the main game. something about research for a story that's right got a tip that something big's happening in a nowhere little town like that they sure didn't mention anything about it on TV yeah well I'm freelance pal I don't make my living waiting for the TV to tell me what to cover <laughs> Here she is. <laughs> Here we go. Willamette, Colorado. Population 53,594. Distinguishing characteristics, jack shit. <laughs> About the only thing to do in this town is kill time at the shopping mall. What was that? The army? Yeah. <laughs> Looks like taking a helicopter was the way to go. I bet they got all the roads blocked off by now. All right, listen. I want to get shots of the whole town before the National Guard finishes roping it off. Take me over the main street. Now, I must admit, I had a huge smile on my face as I watched that. Because, holy shit, this brings back nostalgia for me. I've been playing this game off and on since 2007. And we, we can skip this, but we're not going to. So yeah, you see there's your basic controls. I'm not going to take very many pictures. I'll take... I'll take pictures of what the game clearly wants me to take. Like, right here. Whoa! What is that? Some kind of riot? I'll take a few pictures instead of going down there to help them. And yeah, yeah, depending on what kind of picture you take, It'll your uh, screenshots will be a certain is this genre, what you came to take of? which sure the game is. will talk about later. But uh, we won't be doing that right now. This first playthrough, I'm just gonna basically go through the main game and not a whole lot else. 
I mean, I'll do stuff as it comes along, but I'm not gonna... Like I said, it's... I'm not gonna be saving everybody. Because this game is actually really hard to do it that way. And not really worth it. One thing's for sure. Whatever's going on down there. It's not business as usual in this town. Now, um... Eventually, even if you play this on, like, a completed profile, a little... The little achievements notifier will pop up in game if you get achievements. I'm not, like I said, I'm not gonna go for every single one of them specifically, but I'll go for like the main ones. I did achievement horror for this way back in the day when I cared about gamer score and when I liked games enough to achievement horror in most of them. Now, then it went. From that to only achievement whoring games that I like enough to now not even giving a shit. Holy shit! Did you see that? Now right there, if I if I had taken the picture at the right time, I would have gotten up to a thousand points for brutality there. And is this where we... Is that where we find the woman who falls to her death? Oh, there she is. That building. Uh, Take where is she? We have to check out that building. Huh? Where? Oh, that... Oh, there she is. Uh-oh. She could try to run that way, but she doesn't. Is she flipping us off? I can't actually tell. I th oh, sh she might be. And, uh, splat! Bam. Alright. Is there any more pictures? Alright. Top of that mall? You gotta be kidding me. Man, you are nuts. All right, listen. Don't forget to come back for me. As long as you're not dead, Fred. It's Frank. Frank West. Remember that name, because the whole world's gonna know it in three days when I get the scoop. Down to that rooftop. I know I'm gonna get my butt chewed out for this one. We're going down. There's a hell of a fall he took there. Hello there. Huh? 
You're the reporter, aren't you? Yeah. No. You came alone? Yeah, I'm freelance. You know, go on the battlefield alone, no crew. So, uh, what's going on around here anyway? You came by helicopter, didn't you? What did you see from the sky? Well... If it were just a riot, I doubt the military would quarantine the entire area. The moratorium on information getting out is a little... extreme, in my opinion. There's, uh, something else I can't put my finger on. Doesn't sound like civil disobedience. It's too quiet. <laughs> Almost as if... everyone's already dead. Yeah. So why don't you just tell me already? What's going on? I think you'd better see for yourself. This, my friend... ...is hell. You'll be getting used to seeing that guy. I would say spoilers, but... Well... This game's all over 12 years old. Everyone's played this game by now, I think. And, yeah, here's just a little... Tip on the time. Check the watch. Yeah. What does he say? Looks like you're the only journalist that made it out here. I'm looking forward to some nice pictures. But I must point out, it feels weird being able to read the fucking text on this screen. Because I've been used to playing it, this game on a standard definition TV, and the text is tiny. You cannot read shit. And here, yeah, here's just telling you that you can save on the security in the security room sofa, or on it, and in the bathrooms. So. And... Here's a missable thing. What in the world? So, starting out, Frank here is, as you can see, ridiculously fucking slow. And look at this, this is ridiculous how slow he is. But as time goes on, and as you play through the game, he'll speed himself up. Also, I'm going to pause to point out the picture viewer. Just look at your old pictures. I'm going to delete pretty much all. Actually, I'm going to delete every single one of these. I will eventually get uh, the PP Collector achievement slash trophy, just so you guys can see where they all are if you're playing along. And here comes the biggest bitch in the entire series. Quit screwing around! Have you seen my baby? I can't live without my precious little sweetie doggy! Oh, where is my Madonna? Where is she? Oh, oh. Hey! 
This is no time to ogle pretty girls, son. You looking to get yourself eaten alive by zombies? What? Did you just say zombies? Take a look out there. If those ain't zombies, what would you call them? There's been more and more of them since last night. Now, they're all that's out there. Eh, look on the bright side. Zombies are stupid and slow. We should be safe in here. All right, then. Feel like making yourself useful? Take a look around the mall. Bring anything we can use for the barricade back here. Andale! Come on, pronto! Okay, jackass. So, everyone who's ever played this game before will know exactly what's going to happen. And yeah, we can... I can take pictures of all these people if I want to, which I may do later. Yeah, you can just go near these people and they'll do stuff. But these two here are by far the most interesting. Damn it! Every time I come shopping with you, something happens to raise my blood pressure. What do you mean every time? You don't even come home most nights, let alone take me shopping. So? I work for a living. Work? <laughs> Is that what you call that hanky-panky with that big-titted secretary now? Oh, please. What the hell does that have to do with anything? Listen to me. Every time something goes wrong, you have to raise your voice. I never should have married you. You want to split up then? Sounds great. I can't wait to see the look on your face when those zombies eat you. It'll be hilarious. That's my line, Buster. And let's try to get something back for that barricade. You! Stop right there! Do you have any idea what you've done? Why did you summon me to this place? What are you planning? Would you calm down? I don't even know what you're talking about. <clears throat> What the? Madonna! My Madonna is out there! Oh, what are you thinking? Oh, Lift it off! Oh, wait, baby! I'm saving you, baby! Wait for me, sweetie! Oh, oh, oh! Oh, Madonna! Thanks to that old lady and her fucking dog, everyone in here, basically, is doomed! And normally when you see X is dead, normally you can save them, but these people you just can't. And yeah, as you see there, when grabbed by an enemy, just wiggle the left stick. And let's... Yeah, I guess I'll kick the zombie. I can attack him, but it won't really do much. Since I'm so weak. Huh? 
Where are the others? I don't know. I hope they got away. As long as those things are in the mall, we'd better not use this door. Uh, what are you doing? The air ducts. They'll get us back into the mall, and apparently those things aren't smart enough to use the ducts. So they won't be a factor. Wait a minute. You want to get back in there? What for? Hey, <sighs> nice camera. Are you a photographer? As a matter of fact, I am. Frank West, photojournalist. Could you show me some pictures, Frank? You really seem to know what you're doing. Who are you guys, anyway? And what are you... I took that one near the entrance. That guy do something? No. Nope. Thanks for showing me, though. Uh, hey, we're not done talking yet. Just who are you guys? I'm Jesse. The man you saw earlier is Brad. That's all I'm authorized to tell you. So yeah. As everyone knows, this game is focused entirely around the in-game clock. And I'm going to tell you how how the time in real life correlates to how how the time in the game works. One or every five seconds in real time is one minute in the game. Hang on. You ain't planning going back down into the mall, are you? I wouldn't do that if I were you. Oh, oh shit, I can't even read the text. It goes too fast. Okay, I was gonna do a voice for Otis, but no. See, he gives us the mall map and the basically a walkie-talkie. Um, we'll see that in action here in a bit. Probably the next segment, actually. So, yeah. And he'll be calling you every time your... every time a scoop comes up. Yep. So there you go. Hey, anybody around? Now here's the first of many survivors. Oh, the survivors in this game are awful. Uh, can I talk to you, Jeff? Oh, there we go. Really? She should still be around here. Looking for someone? All right. Yeah, here's telling you how to move survivors around. If only it were that fucking easy. Also, I did not mean to pick that up. I meant to pick up this here baseball bat. Mister! Alright, so, Natalie, here we go. And whenever you see. The PP Fantastic. sticker, you're gonna wanna take that picture, cause you saw how I just got 10,000 points, and got the Artiste achievement, if I had not already gotten it. So, blah blah blah. So now she'll be joining us, and... 
And I've already hit level two, thanks to them joining. Yeah. And nice, I already got an extra... Yeah. Uh, inventory space. Um, what item... Follow me! Um, what you get from leveling up is pseudo-randomly generated. Although, the level 50 skill is always the same. So, come on up, Natalie. And as long as the survivors are on that ledge somewhere, and you go into the mall, into the security room, they'll be safe. And I've hit level 3. 20,000 points. Level up. And... Let's see, what did I learn? Jump kick? Yes! Okay, that's one of the best skills in the game, honestly. Jump kick. Yeah, jump in the air, do a kick. I really don't know how I can simplify that for you any better. Now, I would normally end the segment here, but the best line in the game's coming. Yeah, well, let's show that off. Um, the bathrooms, as you can see, are listed by this S, I think. And what's this, uh, what's this symbol for? Well, you'll see that. You'll see what that's for eventually, but <clears throat> we're not going to do that for right now. So anyway, honestly, the first thing you want to do is break these mannequins and grab mannequin torsos. You might look at this and wonder, why the fuck am I grabbing mannequin torsos? Um, that is because, much to my surprise, also I'm just going to eat this to get rid of it. Um, mannequin torsos are some of the strongest weapons in the game. The lead pipe that was sitting there is also fairly good. Zombies, huh? Had a feeling you'd show up. Oh! Oh! God, it's you. Look, don't sneak up on me. <sighs> Brad was attacked. I located him on the monitor. Oh! It's probably just a sprain. I've got to help Brad, or he's done for. All right, fine. Give me your gun. Come on. I'm the reason you just got hurt. Let me help. No, I can't let a civilian do that. That's against regulations. Yeah, well, I don't think they had zombie-infested malls in mind when they wrote those regulations, kid. You know how to use this? Kinda. I've covered wars, you know. Oh, shit. Look, after I'm through helping you, you and I are going to have a nice little chat. So, I'm going to discard this gun. Well, you'll see here. Case, blah, blah, blah. This is how you go through the main story. I mean, I'm dropping this gun. I don't need it. So, that'll be it for this segment, and I'll see you guys next time where we actually get into the gameplay.